Hey, Claude Ballon here, Affiliate Starting Line. Welcome. This is a continuation of the series on the Google Search Engine Optimization Starter Guide. And this um, short video is going to be about making effective use of robots.txt. Now, what is that? Well, you're going to have certain areas on your site that you may want restricted from being crawled by the bots, by Googlebot, and by obviously some other maybe more nasty bots that are spamming type bots, robots. So how do you do that? Well, you do that by creating a file called robots.txt. And as it says here, a robots.txt file tells search engines whether they can access and therefore crawl parts of your site. So anywhere that you put in a certain piece of code that tells the bot whether it can go in there or not will uh, allow you to determine what you want seen on your site by the robot and what you don't. So that's what the purpose of a robots.txt um, does. You may not want certain pages of your site crawled because they might not be useful to users if found. Uh, you may, they may have information you don't want seen by the bot. Uh, if you want to prevent search engines from crawling your, your pages, Google Webmaster Tools has a robot.txt generator to help you create this file. Um, if you're in WordPress, you can put in a plugin, and I'm going to show you how to do that shortly. So that's how you do it. Uh, you want to put in a robots.txt function on your website to be able to control what the bots, the robots see and what they don't see. Now down here in the, under best practices, it does say use more secure methods for sensitive content. Just because you put a robot.txt designator on a piece of your site and the bot doesn't crawl it, doesn't mean that they don't index that URL. Uh, indeed, they may index the URL without even showing the content. So if you really want to make sure that none of their content is, if you have sensitive content, you want to find other ways of, of uh, storing that content elsewhere so it can't be seen or finding other means of protecting it on your site. But that doesn't tell you here how to do it. So let's see what we're talking about. Okay, so I'm in my blog Word, and uh, WordPress trainer. Let's see how we set that up. Well, what you want to do is come down to plugins and you're going to want to do add new and just type in robots txt and see what happens and here are all your selections now I've looked at a few of these but the best one right now the five star that I that I use is this one PC robots.txt click install now activate it and you're done so you come down here in your list there it is PC, PC, PC robot it's in your plugin list if you come under settings, you'll see it right here, pcrobot.txt, click on it. And the settings here will show you what's going on. Now here's how this works. In the vernacular of the robot.docs.txt file, user agent, that's you, you're, you're telling, you're setting up that you do not want AlexiBot to a, to, to be allowed to come into your site and to scan anything. So disallow means disallow AlexiBot from, from scanning. And it's counterintuitive. If the disallow has to be followed by a forward slash. So if you see the forward slash, that means the disallow is activated and it's not allowing this bot in. It's not allowing that one in. It's not allowing this one in. It's not allowing this one. These are all, this in this plugin, when you go and read the creator of the plugin, he'll tell you that he has added a list of what he thinks are nasty bots, uh, spammy type bots who are looking for information just to create spam, and he's added it to the disallow list. So the fact that you see a forward slash and a disallow means none of these bots here are going to be allowed in. Now as you come down here, you're going to see, we'll go down to the bottom of the list. So far, all of this, now you can go check and see whether these are bots that you like or you don't like. Uh, but this is the default. Now, if you see the disallow, let's bring it down to the bottom. Here we go. User agent, apps bot, Google 
you have disallow with no forward slash. Same thing here for the Google bot. This means these are allowed in. This is allowed in. So these bots here are going to be allowed in, and I suppose bots that are not on the list are also allowed in. So you can add certain ones. I'm, just, I'm thinking of Yahoo and Bing. Here, it's telling you which directories in your website are going to be uh, part of the robots.txt. Which these are the 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 directories on your website that you are not going to allow the bots to crawl. And these are kind of standard files that you want. Uh, you don't need to have crawled. So th these are the default settings. You click Save Changes, or, or, or and uh, if you make any changes, otherwise these are the default settings. And your robot.txt uh, code is placed everywhere it has to be placed in order to make this work. So that is it. That's how you set up. If you want more information on robot, dot, uh, how robots work, you can come here to robotstext.org and it'll explain to you how uh, the system works and how the code works. Uh, there's an official Google Webmaster Central blog site that explains how robots work. And here is how uh, the definition of how the robots are blocked and, rem and you remove pages uh, using the robot.txt file. This is at, again at the webmaster site, Google Webmaster Central. So that's it. That's how um, the robot.txt file works. I hope this has been helpful. This is Claude Pallon at Affiliate Starting Line. Stay with it, stay well, and we'll talk to you soon.